Dave, man, didn't it annoy you, man? Christ! Dave winding the bull up! Unlucky for some, eh? You think it's dead? It's definitely dead. <laughs> I checked its pulse. Right, 12th of August, the glorious 12th. It's when, uh, for city folk like me and Dave, it's when the posh people come out and shoot innocent animals. With a bit of luck, you'll not shoot us. But it did cross me mind, I, uh, we might want to be careful in the morning, Dave. So anyway, just finished work, my dad's picked us up, Dave, over the hill while camping. And we're uh, in the Bremish Valley for a change, first time we've been here. And uh, we're going to head up to High Cantle for a wild camp. Uh, wasn't forecast to rain, but we've had a bit of a shower, so the raincoats are on. And we sweat like horses. But they're gonna have to come off because we're, we're hot. So anyway, yeah. It's nice and warm though, but breezy. But I like the breeze, keeps them flies off. So, we'll press on, and I'll bring you back if there's anything of any note. And then I'll see you at High Cantle. No, I'm not in the Amazon. That's Lynn Hope Spout. I got in there and washed my hair, it'd be like a Timothy advert from the 80s, wouldn't it? Anyway, I better get cracking up that hill. It does, doesn't it? Do they jump fences, Dave? It is cool. Winding the bull up. I reckon he can jump that fence, you know. What? He could jump that fence if he wanted to. So that's uh, so we're on high cantle, as you can see, pretty dark skies and we've had our raincoats off and on for the last hour or so and the breeze is up, it's not cold though. So anyway we'll attempt to find somewhere to pitch the tents because it's a bit uh, lumpy. Right, I'll bring you back in a bit. Well, so we're on high cantle and uh, really the, there was nowhere nice to pitch so we decided to go down to low cantle which isn't really much lower 
and again couldn't find much there so we've dropped right down we've been a bit naughty really so we're, we're, we're quite near the kind of stream and um, near the road so I'll give you a bit of a look around in a bit but so we'll keep our voices down so it's a bit stealthy but we, you know we leave no trace and we certainly won't make a ruckus so I'll show you my dad's tent next so my dad's in the Durston X mid two person solid dinner. I didn't really get to show you it in the last camp and I probably won't get to show you it much tonight because it's as you can see it's dark but anyway it's a really decent spot to camp I'm still not convinced we've got this corner right like but we'll have to uh, have another go at it in the daylight sometime so anyway Nothing flash for dinner. I'll show you what we're going to have once we sit down and get ready to prepare it. Right, Dave, you can have a wee now. Right, I've just got the kettle on. Um, <clears throat> like I said, nothing flash for our dinner tonight. So, for me starter, I've got a fire pot, chili non carne. Right, I've demoted that to a starter because it's a bit of a risk isn't it chili non carne then for the main course I've got these spicy noodles I get from Sainsbury's and I know I like them so they'll class as me main course and then my dessert I've got some pork scratchings and that should do me nicely I can't see us filming too much tonight because it's as you can see it's dark we got caught out with the light. I think actually I forgot to stop me here. Uh, watch, but I think we did. I did about eight mile, I think. We did eight mile. Um, it's only meant to be five and a half, but with faffing about looking for a pitch in that, you know, so it ended up eight mile. Anyway, we're going to keep it a bit stealthy because we're not too far away from the, uh, from the farm, and we don't want to be upsetting Farmer Giles, especially not on the air, uh, the glorious twelve. He might have his shotgun out. Right, anyway, I'll bring you back when I'm trying me starter, me chilli non carne, okay? Right, so I've actually had me dessert before me starter, because I was hungry. Anyway, giving it the uh, required 15 minutes, so let's give it a go, eh? Doesn't look great. <laughs> right. I think I had the normal chili con carne one of these in the pig district. And you know what? That's not too bad. It's not cr there's no crunch of it's definitely all done. It's relatively spicy. Yeah, that's alright. So not not bad. Literally not bad. Fire pot chili non carne. I'll bring you back for the next course, which is the noodles. Right. So I've retired back into my tent. So I've had me starter. And now I'm going to have me main course. Uh, but the starter was all right, to be honest. So we've got some spicy noodles here. Bad days before. They're nice. Mwah. Not the usual Trangia Masterclass, but... Keeping it simple, but that was very, very nice. I've already had me dessert anyway. So I think I'll wish you a good night, God bless, and I'll see you in the morning. It'll be an early start because we've got to be a bit stealthy, like I said. We're not too far from a farmhouse and we're camping a bit naughty. We're a bit low. So I'll see you in the morning. Night, night.
Well, I slept all right until about half three and then haven't been able to get back to sleep. So I thought I'd get up. It's, well, it's about five now, so I'll put the kettle on, make some porridge. I want to pack away early anyway, because like I said, we're in a bit of a dodgy place. So kettle on, porridge, pack down, then get, get home. So I'll speak, I'll speak to you when I'm uh, all packed down, ready to go. Well, we're all packed up, as always. We've left no trace. No one would know we've been here, other than a bit of flat grass. Farmer Giles never knew anything. Anyway, so that didn't exactly go according to plan, but we did, we've had a good explore of uh, the Bremish Valley. We've seen Linhope Spout, High Cantle, Low Cantle. Went around, I think it's called Ritto Hill. And a really nice camp by this stream. Um, and it's fairly nice. It's rained through the night, but a fairly nice morning. So anyway, that was Bremish Valley. Did you enjoy it, Dave? Yeah, good. Right, that's it then. Ticked another one off. Ticked another one off. We'll be back, explore a little bit more around here. Uh, hopefully we'll find somewhere better to camp up on the hills. But anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, leave, leave a comment if you've got anything to say or any nice... Uh, advice or anything well it doesn't have to be nice <laughs> and i'll see you next time all right cheers thank you bye